is a quiet place that gives me peace when I'm alone with you. Here, there is a hiding place. Your spirit's always there when I'm confused. Yeah. So beautiful. That was Sabri and friends with their rendition of Psalm 23. Our next guest is a multidisciplinary artist who makes his musical instruments. His name is Jeffrey Menzies and he joins us from Bull Bay in Jamaica. Good morning to you, sir. How are you? Good morning. I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm very well. It's good to have you here um, this morning. Stringed instrument maker and educator Obviously, a lover of music. Can you tell me where that started, Jeff, before we get into how your hands started getting involved into the making of the instrument? Absolutely. Uh, my introduction to making musical instruments was actually through the visual arts, um, where I was studying sculpture. And while I was studying sculpture uh, in art school, I was learning to play traditional music, um, folk music. And um, that, that, that reached from the Caribbean to, to primitive America. And so I became interested in musical um, 
instrument such as this one here um, through my interest in uh, in exploration of materials and form and so i came into instrument making through an interest in learning to create music much um, so so where did you study jeff i studied at uh, in at the ontario college of art in toronto canada and then i did my graduate work at york university in toronto okay and do you currently teach at edna uh, no, I, um, I'm no longer teaching at Edna. I'm actually at the University of Technology teaching in the animation program there, teaching drawing. Okay, so you, so you started a program in art that led you to making instruments, which is interesting, That's but at the same time you were studying music. Absolutely, I was studying, yeah, absolutely. The craft of learning That's to play music, I was studying uh, yeah. sculpture. So and so through understanding, learning how to put materials together, right. I started traditional instrument making. And what, when you were studying music, what instrument were you studying? Can you hear me, Jeff? Okay, we seem to have lost um, Jeff's connection. Talking to him about his, his love of music, um, his studying of music, and his making of musical instruments, he actually produces Gourd, Tackhead, and minstrel style banjos, I guess similar to the one that he showed us there. Ecantings, gourd fiddles, basses, and just about any other instrument that um, one can imagine. Jeff actually holds a Master's of Fine Arts in Sculpture, and he teaches musical instrument making as an art form at workshops across the United States, Canada and Europe, and as he said, he did a stint here at Edna and is now um, at UTEC. Um, interestingly, his instruments have been in the hands of very notable players, including uh, Frank Lee, Rafa Stefanini, Mike Seeger, Ray Alden, Chris Wig, Dan Gal Gellert, David Bragger, Joe Ayers, and more. And his work has done its pro being exhibited at places like the University of Tennessee and the McClung Museum and the Museum of Making Music. And his instruments are part of the permanent collections at the Musical Instrument Museum and the Jamaica Music Museum. His teaching and work experiences span from universities, as I said, across JA, the United States, and Canada. Hoping we can get back with him, but I think we may not be able to. So we're gonna take a look instead at some local musicians who've had the chance to play just instruments. Have a look. to have talked to him some more about how he makes the instruments but unfortunately technical issues with Jeffrey Menzies it happens sometimes when you're in this new dispensation where everything is by zoom right all right we thank him though for checking in with us for a couple of minutes musical instrument maker Jeffrey Menzies we're going to take a break on smile we're coming back uh, food is in the kitchen Yum. we'll be right back <laughs> 